a strong 6.2, some agencies say 6.0 earthquake, shook Japan again, the island of Kyushu. That is in the southwest of Japan's main islands. It's the southwestern most of Japan's islands. It has mostly a subtropical climate and it's known, unfortunately, guys, for its active volcanoes and of course therefore the natural hot springs also the city of nagasaki is located on that island we know the 1945 devastation by an atomic bomb that happened there but this area where this earthquake hit is especially problematic because there's tectonic forces but there's also so many volcanoes that could be triggered right now by this earthquake. And this strong earthquake struck just days after a magnitude over seven shook Myanmar, Vietnam and Thailand. And that has created a ripple effect across Southeast Asia. And with that comes also, by the way, a major tourist disruption that has now shook the region. Of course, the people in Japan were very worried when now after just that powerful 7.7 .7 Myanmar earthquake that has caused so much destruction with the towers coming down. Now they got this 6.2 magnitude or 6.0 earthquake. Initial reports from Kyushu indicate that to structures on the island, there's no immediate damage or casualties or no significant damage reported. But the timing of this event is what we have to look at. The timing is drawing attention to the potential impact on the volcanoes or the nearby fault lines and tectonic plates, both in Japan and across the region. The earthquake that was recorded by the National Center of Seismology occurred at a depth of 30 kilometers. So it was not super, super shallow. The epicenter was near Kyushu. The good thing is what we have here in Japan, they have a very high seismic preparedness and that is coupled with really strict safety measures. So the immediate impact on the local infrastructure and life is thankfully limited. So that earthquake did not happen on the island with the epicenter just a little bit off the coast of this Japanese island, but it was powerful. It was 54 kilometers south southeast of Nichinan. It was tectonically related to the subduction zone at the Ryukyu Trench, where the Philippine plate is subducting beneath two microplates, not only one, that basically lie offshore of the Eurasian continent. So a lot is going on there. And these two plates are the Okinawa plate and the Amur plate. But also, that is not all. The location of this earthquake also happened in an area where there's another fault that is running between these two microplates, between the Okinawa and the Amur plate. It's called the transform fault. So there's a lot that could be triggered or could be the reason. So we basically have a junction there of all these fault and tectonic things. It's like a triple junction with also the Ryukyu Trench. And all of that is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, of course, where most of the world's volcanoes are located. Also here on the west coast of North America, we're also on the Pacific Ring of Fire. So in that Japan area, all these faults are part of a very, very complex tectonic setting along that Pacific Ring of Fire. And that's why this is a little bit concerning. As I said, there's volcanoes because of that, right? And in this area where the epicenter happened, there are several volcanoes that are already erupting 
or preparing to erupt. So such a strong earthquake, does that have an impact? We have Mount Kirishima on um, Kyushu. That had just a change of alert status. The alert status of Mount Kirishima was just elevated a few days ago. Then we have another volcano, Zakurayima. That's constantly erupting, basically. It has increased its eruption frequency again just a day ago and has also triggered many warnings. And of these eruption series, there, there are strong eruptions. That's the strongest that happened so far has spewed up volcanic particles and ash up to 3,400 meters up in the air. So this is definitely a volcano worth watching as well. And I'm also planning to make a video just about this volcano. But there is also um, a volcanic island, the Suvanosa Island, which has also been emitting ash clouds the last few days has also triggered 50 warnings so far this year. And we have way more volcanoes very close to that epicenter. So it is not unlikely, it is actually possible that this earthquake could trigger volcanic eruptions. And not immediately maybe, but this, this impact from this earthquake, that impact can last longer over several weeks and months. And we could see the impact resulting in a volcanic eruptions in a few days, weeks, and months, because it could have damaged some caprock layers above some volcanoes or some structures so that magma is finding a way to erupt, to easier erupt if the rocks are getting brittle by this shaking. And overall, I mean, look at Myanmar, 7.7. There has been an increase in strong earthquakes in recent days in this area after it had been quiet the last few weeks. So what does that mean? What's next? I'll stay on the pulse of this for you guys. I just wanted to give you another introduction in this area and the volcanoes that are there. And then in follow-up videos, we will look at each specific volcano and what's going on there. So stay tuned. If you're new here, you need to subscribe and also click the notification bell. I know the no YouTube notifications do not work all the time. So always check my panel, my, my panel, my channel start page for new videos. I'm releasing at least one new video per day, sometimes two, depending on the situation. I have just released an interesting video about Iceland because there was a short eruption, very scary thing for the town of Grindavik, but that could not be all because the magma was intruding. Biggest intrusion, 20 kilometer long magma dike was formed, magma tunnel filled with magma. You didn't see that. It only erupted a little bit, but could it intrude in all the cracks underneath Grindavik and then all of a sudden come out? interesting video check it out in the end screen guys if you want to support the channel thank you for your supers thank you for the coffees you keep buying me on buymeacoffee.com slash silky to support my animals it's greatly appreciated guys all the links are in the description of this video and if you want to become a supporting member of this channel click the join button become a member you get behind the scenes videos and more about my life and what I'm doing, guys. So thanks for watching. Stay safe and be prepared. It's rumbling all over the world. Even if you go on vacation, if you, you're new to my channel, check out my videos about the Naples area, Campi Fligri, Super Volcano, or Santorini, many, many other areas, right? If you go to Japan, it has already a negative impact on the region after the 7.7 earthquake. Burma was really heavily damaged. So check this out, guys. I see you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.